what is a breast MRI? MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Breast MRI is a non-invasive way to image the breast, and unlike mammography, does not use radiation. Instead, MRI uses a powerful magnetic field, radio frequency pulses, and a computer to produce detailed images of the breast. How long does a breast MRI take? A typical breast MRI takes about 30 minutes. How will I be positioned for my breast MRI? Will it hurt? Generally, a breast MRI is not painful. You'll be positioned face down on the exam table with your arms at your sides. You will lay on top of something called a breast coil. This is a piece of equipment that allows us to obtain the images, and your breasts will hang freely through two openings in the coil. Every effort will be made by our staff to make you comfortable with pillows, blankets, and pads. I'm claustrophobic. I don't think I can handle being in a small dark tube. The MRI group performs all breast MRIs on our open wide bore system. This magnet is much larger around and much shorter than most other high field magnets. It will not be dark as there are running lights inside the machine, and because you'll be lying on your stomach, you may not feel as claustrophobic. Music is also available to help you relax. If you still feel you may have trouble completing your breast MRI, talk to your ordering doctor to see if they can prescribe something to help you relax. Do I have to get an injection? Yes, a contrast is necessary for MRI of the breast. We use a dye called gadolinium, and it can help highlight abnormal tissue in the breast, which could be a cancer. Can I have an MRI instead of a mammogram? Breast MRI is to be used in conjunction with mammography, not a replacement for it. There are some cancers that may be missed by breast MRI, but detected by mammography. The breast imaging tests of mammography, ultrasound, and MRI provide complementary information. What are the benefits of a breast MRI? There is no radiation involved with breast MRI. Breast MRI has been shown to be extremely sensitive in detecting small cancers not seen with mammography or breast ultrasound. Breast MRI can also successfully image dense breast tissue, common in younger women, although increasingly we also see this in middle-aged and older women. Are there any drawbacks to a breast MRI? Cost and time are the two main drawbacks. Breast MRI is much more costly than mammography and takes significantly more time to perform. There's also a very slight risk of being allergic to the MRI contrast material. Because of the cost, breast MRI is not generally recommended for all women, especially women at a low risk of developing breast cancer. Are there any health conditions that could keep me from having a breast MRI? As with any MRI, there are some health conditions that may keep you from having your test. These would include a cardiac pacemaker or a defibrillator, inner ear implants, metal in your eyes, or women who are pregnant or may be breastfeeding. You will be asked these questions by phone before you have your exam, and they will be reviewed with you again the day of your test. How accurate is a breast MRI? Breast MRI is extremely sensitive for detecting most breast cancers. Some benign conditions such as fibrocystic disease can also mimic breast cancers. Hormonal therapy can also affect the results of this test. This is why we will ask you specific questions about your menstrual cycle and hormonal therapy to minimize the chance of a false positive result. What if there's an abnormal area on my breast MRI? If the radiologist sees a questionable area on your MRI, we may call you back for a targeted ultrasound. If the area is confirmed, a needle biopsy may be recommended. If the area cannot be seen, the physician may recommend an MRI-guided biopsy or a follow-up MRI, depending on how suspicious the area is. How will I get the results of my breast MRI? Your breast MRI will be interpreted locally by a board-certified member of Lancaster Radiology Associates. These physicians have additional experience and training in breast imaging and intervention. The results of the test will be sent to your doctor who will share them with you. In addition, the specific recommendations of the radiologist will be mailed to you in a form of a letter.